Hi there. I just looked at my videos and the last time I did a what we read this week was November 13th was the last time I shared one with you. So this is more like what we've read this month um, because I don't know what it's been almost one month. We have been very busy. It's December. There's lots of fun things going on. We have not been reading quite as much this past week. But as I looked at our stack of chapter books that we've completed since I talked to you last, I guess we have been still getting some reading done. So let me start with a few kids books that I pulled out. Obviously this is not even a fraction of what we actually read the past month, but these are a few highlights, especially this time of cold weather. Um, one that is a favorite is Katie and the Big Snow. This is by the same author that did Mike Mulligan and the Steam Shovel. Such cute books. That's another one I really recommend. But this is about a steam shovel named um, Katie who basically just has to sit until there's enough snow before she can go out and show off her stuff. So it's pretty cute, just like Mike Mulligan. This one is very loved by my little guys. It is The Snowy Day, and it's a book that... Um, does not have a lot of words. It allows them to really use their imagination. It's about a little boy who gets to go out in snow and just his experiences with that, how he learns about the snow melting and uh, it's just a very sweet simple book. And actually there is also, I don't know if it's still there, but it hasn't been that long since my kids watched it. They put this to a little um, animation. It's the actual photos on Amazon Prime that you can watch this story being read out loud um, as a little video there. So that's pretty sweet. Okay, this one is very loved. You can do it, Sam. This is about a little bear who bakes some goodies with his mom and they go to deliver them anonymously to their neighbors and how she encourages him to be brave and go make the deliveries all by himself and, and just his that whole journey through it and then at the end they share some together. So a very sweet story for little ones. This is um, a Max Locato story because I love you. This is um, his stories kind of reference uh, the picture of God to God's children. So it kind of parallels that. This is about um, this man Shaddai who loves his children so much, all of the children. He builds them this beautiful place. He surrounds it with a protective wall, but he also leaves a hole in the wall that they could leave if they wanted to. And it's just about that whole journey of one child who did choose to leave and the like redeeming story of how he's brought back. Okay, I'm back. I had two little ones who collided and bumped heads, so we're recovering. Okay, so Rocks a Boxin. I had this is by the same author that wrote the book Miss Rumpf Rumpfius, is that how you say it? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but this is so sweet. It's about these children that make this imaginary city out of stones that they line up to make the perimeters of the city and very cute book. I recommend. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations. You want to come sit on my lap? It's hard to recover from a bump. Okay, now this is interesting. This is a book that is a picture book, but I think actually my oldest kids enjoyed this book the most because it's talking about what happens to a word if you remove one letter. And so you could just see their brains kind of thinking. I, I leave the books. Love falls in love. That's right. I leave books sitting on the couch sometimes, and I could see different kids picking it up and reading it and just trying to understand, like, oh, like, without the H three climb a tree so three became tree because the H was taken away so it's it's very clever and it goes all the way through the alphabet you're gonna come help me okay let's see okay so that's just a few of the the kids books that we have enjoyed and now I'm gonna tell you where we're at with our chapter books and hopefully I remember what I what was in the middle of it the last video but I believe I believe I remembered them all. We finished Caddy Woodlawn, such a favorite. We finished The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. This was a good one. We finished The Silver Chair, and I have to be honest, even though it was still good, it's C.S. Lewis, this, this was our least favorite of the series. Um, we just felt like, whoo, it just kind of dragged on in the darkness for such a long time. I mean, chapters and chapters of walking through the cold and 
I'm glad we read it, but we definitely had to plow through. Yes, you may have a muffin. I like your feather in your hair. That's fancy. Oh, I, I thought I didn't have a feather. You have a feather in your hair. And then lastly, we have started the final book in the Chronicles of Narnia. Um, oops. So, once we're done with those, I think we will probably want to go back to our missionary stories that we read all last year. We took a break from those to read this series, and it's been super. But unless I get voted down, I think probably we will go back to choosing some of those. So, that's all. I better end this video before more people come and needing me. Um, it's been a, a good couple of weeks of reading, so be sure to let me know what you've been reading lately. I've been getting some good recommendations from people, so they're going to go on my list. We'll get to them all eventually. Have a great December.